The next element is chlorine. It is absorbed in the form of chloride ions along with sodium and potassium ions. That means when sodium and potassium ions are absorbed actively or passively, chloride ion also gets absorbed along with them. And that is why we have written that it is absorbed as chloride ions along with sodium and potassium ions. Functions where it plays an important role. It is essential for maintaining solute concentration and anion cation balance in the cell or any uh, liquid like cytoplasmic material or the matrix of other organelle also. The most important roles are these two. One is this anion cation balance, which is uh, actually in other words, we can say it is the solute concentration. And the next one is that it is essential for water splitting reaction in photosynthesis. We know during photolysis, water splits in presence of sunlight to release three things. Electron pair is released. A pair of protons is also released and one atom of oxygen is also given out. This oxygen is given out as a byproduct and this electron is given to chlorophyll of PS2 from where this process of photosynthesis is going to start. So what is the role of chloride ion here? The role of chloride ion is transfer of electron from water to the chlorophyll of PS2. So we can write it here as helps in transfer of electron from water to chlorophyll of PS2 and that is where chloride ions play very important role. It is also essential for urease enzyme formation. Urease enzyme helps in breakdown of urea into carbon dioxide and ammonia. So this urease enzyme is going to help in this reaction. In plants, urea synthesis takes place in almost all cells. So in plants, urea synthesis takes place. Because whenever we use the term urea, what normally comes to our mind are animals because animals excrete urea or in some animals urea may get converted into uric acid but in plants also urea is produced and then this urea because it is toxic to the plant it has to be converted into carbon dioxide ammonia and then ammonia would be either reused or would be converted into non-toxic substances and the enzyme which is going to help is urease and chloride ions are essential part of this enzyme urease. The deficiency symptoms due to less concentration or absence of chloride ions would be because we have seen its role in photosynthesis unless and until the electron is given to chlorophyll of PS2 photosynthesis especially the non-cyclic photophosphorylation would not start. So in the deficiency situation rate of photosynthesis would be lower. The leaves they will become wilted because to maintain the turgidity these cation anion balance is essential. So if these ions are not there then water from the cells would come out and the leaves would become wilted. The roots they become short and thick and if photosynthesis is not there, sufficient water is also not there, then that would lead to necrosis. One very important thing which we have to write here about chloride ion is that deficiency of chloride ions is very, very rare in nature. Reason, there are plenty of chloride salts which are present in the soil. So here, we will write that chloride deficiency or chloride ion deficiency is rare as there are plenty of these salts available. So 
scientists have found out these deficiency symptoms using hydroponics because in soil chlorine ions are always there. So the technique of hydroponics was used to find out these deficiencies. The last element that we are talking of is nickel and it is essential part of urease enzyme. Urease enzyme is required to break down urea into carbon dioxide and ammonia. Now, whenever we talk of the term urea or the substance urea, what comes to mind are animals. But in plants also, in almost every cell, urea is produced. So, in plants, urea is produced in all cells. And because we know urea is toxic, it has to be broken down into non-toxic substances and here carbon dioxide and ammonia are produced. Ammonia is getting converted again into some other non-toxic nitrogenous compound and this reaction is helped by urease enzyme. So if nickel is present then it is a part of urease and this urease enzyme helps in breakdown of urea. Deficiency symptom based on this function if enzyme is not there then urea will not be broken down or in other words there would be accumulation of urea in the leaves and that would result into death of the cells in the leaf and that is what we call necrosis another abnormality or deficiency which is seen has been reported in barley seeds Due to nickel deficiency, seeds of barley were found to be abnormal. So now we have discussed most of the essential elements, their function or role in the plant life, metabolism, growth, development, etc. and the deficiency symptoms also. And now we will talk about certain other important things.